beautiful Pisces, welcome to my channel. This is Baba Jolie here with a little bonus reading. I've already cleansed your space and have meditated on your cards. For those of you who are returning, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for all your wonderful likes, shares and subscribes. I am truly grateful for all your beautiful energy. Just a little reminder though, this is a general reading, not a one-to-one -one reading, just so you're aware. Also, please be mindful, scammers are about, pertains to be me and lots of other tarot readers. I do not do personal readings. I do not take your money, e-gifts, donations. I'm not on Facebook, WhatsApp, PayPal, Telegram or Patreon. I will never ask you for your credit card details and I will never ask you for personal details either so if anyone masquerading as me asks you for anything at all please report them or ignore them it is a scam okay let's move on with your reading I'm going to cleanse your space hourly so please be mindful there's going to be three loud sounds let us begin Okay, my beautiful Pisces, this is a little bonus reading for you all. Uh, I do apologize, it is a little bit late, but unfortunately I was a little bit unwell there and I lost my voice for four or five days, so I couldn't even do a reading for you all, even if I tried, and believe me, I did try. Um, I have taken some self-care and I've gone away to my folks for a little bit of TLC, so I'll be back in my usual space in the next couple of days. Uh, this is a reading, what do your guides want you to know? So let's get straight to it. My my beautiful Pisces. Um, I'm going to get all of your cards first before I do an energetic reading on the cards for you. So let's see what comes out for you. Thank you so much Spirit Guides, Guardian Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Pisces? What do they need to know? Can you please guide them for their highest good? What are they meant to see? Okay. Um, now, they're giving me um, an image right now as soon as I've started. I actually scry in the water at the same time as doing your reading and they're giving me a... Um, they're giving me an image of, uh, you know, when you go to watch those 3D movies, uh, very old school sort of 3D glasses. That's what they're showing me right now, 3D glasses. So either you're seeing something, um, you're becoming aware of something that you haven't been aware of before, or I mean, maybe you physically just bought some 3D glasses, um, or you've got some hanging up in front of you right now, or you're gonna see an image of 3D glasses or be given a gift or be given 3D glasses. Uh, it may not mean anything to you in this moment, but it will mean something to you in the next four to five weeks. Uh, I mean, spiritually, it could mean that things are becoming clearer. Maybe you've had a bit of fuzzy vision recently. I mean, it could have been recently, as in like you really had fuzzy vision and just bought glasses, for example. Uh, but you got a two of swords here as well. So it actually kind of matches uh, the image of the 3D glasses, being able to see something really clearly after a period of confusion or a period of feeling a little bit lost or a little bit fuzzy on details. Now, um, thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Guardian Angels. Uh, can you please guide my beautiful Pisces? Yeah, we got Eight of Swords as well here. So as you can see, she's bound, not being able to see. So the 3D glasses mean you will be able to see or you will find a solution to something that perhaps you haven't been... Um, able to see for a while. I mean, you got the sun card, so that means vision. It means clarity. Um, we've also got a four of cups here as well. So something that perhaps, oh, chariot as well. So something that perhaps has been worrying you, it actually works out in your favor and you get to move past this energy. Um, now your guides in particular, they're showing me um, that you are someone who gives your all, okay, uh, Pisces. They're just showing me that you're very committed to your goals and your dreams. You're someone that people can rely on. Um, although you're a, a water element and you're very, very sensitive, they're actually showing me that you're very earthed, you're very grounded, and that's something you've been working on for a long time. I feel like you have got to that place where you are grounded, okay? Um, the first card we got here is the one who regrets. Battle, victory, bitterness. Now, whenever I get this card for everybody, um, I just get this energy of you don't really regret many, many things, okay? Uh, but I feel there's something here in the past that either you wished um, you hadn't got involved in or that you wished had gone a different way. Uh, it was actually meant to make you stronger, okay? Whatever this experience was. We are all given experiences, of course, to uh, make ourselves um, more enlightened, but at the same time, more, uh, you know, more tenacity, more will power to succeed. It's almost like if this could even be from childhood, for example, 
um, something that you didn't say is what they're showing me, something that you didn't say. Now you may replay these conversations in your head um, as you're older in order to process emotions and find empowerment in those um, conversations. But we've got battle, victory, and I feel like um, you've, you've taken a very difficult path, a very, you've struggled along the way. Now, as you can see, we've got the skulls there. They represent, oh, I do apologize. They represent change. Um, so I feel, what is this? I've just knocked this and I've knocked this. Uh, maybe I'm picking up a very clumsy energy. Uh, you know, I tend to be quite clumsy anyway. I'm a water element, I'm Scorpio, um, but I don't like anyone to see me being clumsy, of course. Um, perhaps you've been feeling a bit clumsy or a little bit like um, extra sensitive because of that new moon in Cancer that we've been going through. Of course, the full moon in Capricorn has also um, made it feel like a bit of a bumpy ride. But with this energy, I feel there could be some financial regrets here, but I feel like you're actually moving past this. Um, I feel, I mean, there's a lot of money coming on and they're showing me actually that you're very, very uh, business minded. You're very, not only you're very sensitive, very creative and talented at what you do. They're actually showing me that um, financially you're very, very savvy. But I mean, this card says battle and victory. So I feel like this is like regret nothing, move towards whatever you feel you are attracted to achieve, ambition, drive. They're showing me that you... You have a lot of tenacity, a lot of willpower, and you, you, you've you learned as you got older, as you've matured, because we've got the King of Pentacles there, as you've matured, you've learned to choose um, your battles wisely, okay? Uh, you've learned when to extend your energy to a person or a situation that is worth it, rather than any petty squabbles. So I feel like you're rising above any sort of like, you know, if anyone's like pinpointing you, to be negative towards or you know if they're jealous of you things like that i feel like you're rising above that energy and you're moving past it any petty squabbles they keep giving this energy of any petty squabbles i feel like you've learned to find your voice later on in life because you've been quite a sensitive person doesn't mean you don't have opinions doesn't mean that you haven't always uh, been informed as to who you are and being your wonderful authentic self but I feel like you're finding your voice you're becoming very comfortable with who you are and sort of allowing that authenticity to flow through you but you've always wondered why does it always have to be a struggle okay because I feel this is the protagonist energy you always have to feel or you're, you've always been feeling like it's a difficult path it's always a struggle why can't things be easier Okay, uh, your guides are actually showing me that you are someone who will be very successful in your lifetime. You'll build a lot of finances, but it's not really about finances for you. I feel this is more about stability. Um, a lot of people may have said that you are very emotional or very, very sensitive, my beautiful Pisces, and you've worked really hard to ground yourself. But don't let anyone tell you that you're to this, you're to that, you're, you're perfect exactly the way you are, okay? Uh, there's a very dreamy element about beautiful Pisces um, souls, and I feel... Sometimes you have felt that that is not your superpower. You felt that that is your weakness or you felt that people look at you because you're sensitive that they see that as a weakness in you. That is not true at all. Lots of people pay lots of money to go to counselors and psychiatrists and things like that in order to connect to their emotions, in order to be freer with their emotions. So remember, this is a gift you've been given. You're very intuitive. Now there's something here where I feel, um, you know, there's something here that you're releasing fear, you're releasing cloudiness. I feel like you're going to get the gift of vision or sight, something you're going to see very, very clearly in the next couple of weeks, uh, something perhaps that you've been wrestling with. Uh, we've got the King of Pentacles here. So they're just telling me that you give your all and you're someone who is very grounded, uh, very good at planning. Um, also, you're very reliable. Your friends, your family always rely on you. And you may feel sometimes that the responsibilities lie on your shoulders. You're the sort of person who wants to make sure everybody's okay. Okay, especially since we've got the Three of Pentacles here as well. You're always making sure that um, those around you, your soul tribe, your team, uh, people that you feel like you can trust. You always make sure that you can um, look after them or you're a protective energy, okay? Um, and you always know when something is off because you have that intuitive energy about you. 
you always know deeper if there's something going on. If someone says to you uh, that they're feeling okay and you feel something's off, you know there's an undercurrent. You know something deeper is going on there. That's who you are. Um, but I feel like actually a lot of people respect you. They may not say it, but a lot of people uh, actually you command respect. Uh, whether you feel like it or not, you, you you command respect, especially in the workspace. So whether you are still working or you've retired, um, people that worked with you or work currently with you actually respect you quite a lot. They talk about you behind your back and how good you are at what you do, how talented you are. The Three of Pentacles is the card of talent, is a card of ingenuity. So they're indicating here that a lot of people, um, you know, admire what you do. They're also giving me this energy that um, you're a really good team player, but you may gravitate towards positions where you become the boss or you actually set up your own business. You're an entrepreneur. You're a natural born leader. You actually are very good with money when you plan, when you strategize, um, but you're always thinking about other people. Whenever you spend your money, it tends to be on gifting other people. That's what they're showing me. The generosity of spirit that you have is really beautiful. Um, and you're you're going to get some good karma for that. They want you to be aware of that. Okay. Um, now, also they're just showing me um, that you're very artistic, very creative, and you'll make a lot of money in that arena. Okay. Um, so following your heart is so important. I don't, you know, I don't see many cups here, four cups. So I feel that recently you may have felt a little bit disconnected from your heart space or a little bit numb in your energy, which is not something that is typical for you, my beautiful Pisces, because you're so feeling, you're so sensitive, but you may have felt there's a bit of a lull in your energy or a little bit like your life force energy is just a little bit low. You've been maybe feeling a little bit bored or stuck in a rut or a routine and you may have felt a little bit clouded or a little bit stuck and you didn't know how to get out of that. But I feel like you're going to reconnect to friends or soul tribe members, maybe even family. And I feel like you're, there's a, a good camaraderie about you all coming together, okay? Um, now, financially, I see you doing really well in life in general. If you don't feel like that's happening right now, I feel like you can use your talents and your skills to earn more money. Setting up your own business or being an entrepreneur, that is something that is naturally for you. And I feel like you will actually um, gain a lot of financial security in this lifetime. Uh, and if you're looking for a job, for example, you want to uh, work for a company or you're looking for an opportunity, there is one coming on in here for you. The next four to five weeks are going to be very, very lucrative, okay? Um, we've also got the one who knows, wisdom, clarity, resolution. Your instincts and your intuition are on point. They were given to you for a reason. Your water, water element, so you, you feel intuitively below the surface. You're very, very deep um, and you just know things. Don't ever mistrust that gift that you were given. If anyone, as I said, says you're too sensitive, you're too this, you're too that, remember that's because they're projecting their energy. They wish that they could feel the way that you feel. They wish that they could know the things that you know, but they just can't. And because people can't understand the gift that you've been given doesn't mean that you are too sensitive, you're to this, that, just because they don't understand it, okay? We can only meet each other as deeply as we have met ourselves. And other people will not understand the depths of emotions that you have. And you're actually quite psychic. So don't ever doubt your intuition. Um, you also are very intelligent. They're showing me that you have a lot of smarts, uh, very, very intelligent, uh, very spontaneous as well. Even though a water element, you know, you're very flexible, but I feel you've been trying to ground yourself recently or you've been trying to find stability. Um, I just keep getting this earthy, like wanting to anchor, anchor your emotions. So, I mean, that will happen. That absolutely will happen. And if you've been feeling a little bit bored or stuck in a rut in a cycle, there is a new opportunity to um, shake things up for you in the next four to five weeks, whether that is new friends entering your life or a, a new opportunity, whether it's in business or in love. This is going to make you very, very happy. A lot of abundance. Good times are coming here ahead for you. And the chariot card indicates a lot of success and movement forward. Some of you are maybe trying to 
move because you want I just keep getting this energy of wanting to plant roots so some of you may be wanting to move to rural settings or to the you know to the country in some way and you may have found it's very difficult and you're trying to save your money or pool your money or even you and other people are coming together to buy something um, and you will be relocating it will happen for you it's a slow process but Try to have faith, it will happen for you, okay? Now we have these two cards, they're in the resistance position. These two cards are cards of not being able to see clearly. And they're in the resistance position, which means we got them in the reverse, which is actually a really positive way of this, uh, way of getting these cards. So the two of swords, I feel like you are going to gain clarity. As you can see, these birds here are thinking about nesting, but they're only thinking about it. Uh, what they're looking at each other they're not aware that you know they could just pop in there and you know have a little home space for themselves there is security um this is a card of stalemate maybe something isn't wasn't happening for you or isn't happening for you but they're showing me here with the eight of swords as well you're releasing fear you're someone who um you're the sort of person who's very brave, actually. You see beyond the fear, and you always find a solution to problems. You're, you're a good problem solver. That's because you've got that undercurrent, your gut instinct. Um, now, I feel like you have been given the gift of vision, especially since we've got the one who knows, and they showed me those 3D glasses. You see things in a way other people do not, okay? You're the sort of person who sees things in it's almost like yeah you see things in a way that makes a lot of sense i i can't quite grasp the energy they're trying to give me here um i'll always be honest and say i can't quite grasp the energy um i'm gonna pull a card on it to see what they mean by that they're just giving me this energy of you see things differently like you can see beyond patterns motives of people you can see strategies where other people just see day-to-day Stuff. You see below the surface, the death card. You're capable of much change. There's a new beginning here. We got the death card and this symbolizes uh, transformation, transition. So you, I feel like also you're capable of standing up to the, this is an odd message that I'm getting, but I'll give it to you because it's coming through. You're capable of standing up to the st status quo. You do things differently, okay? As you can see, we've got the death card there and it's standing up, uh, the horse is like, um, standing up there towards uh, the figure in the Hierophant. So this is like you standing up against the powers that be or the establishment in some way. Or, you know, for example, if they're making new rules at work, you find a way to um, learn the rules, to bend the rules or change the rules in order to suit you. Not in a way where you're going to do anything illegal or anything like that, but I feel like you're a trailblazer. You're the sort of person you cannot be controlled. Or if you are in a position that makes you feel controlled, you try to find a way to exert your originality to move through it or move past it. So with the death card, I feel like there's a major change here for you. Uh, you're in a Tra transitionary period it may have made you feel a little bit worried or a little bit stuck but you're moving forward some of you may not have been um connected to your intuition recently as well because you've had sleepless nights or you're exhausted but they're showing me that there is great vision for you in the next four to five weeks something that you've been wrestling with or had uh, some sort of problem that you've been going through and you will find clarity and you will know what to do. All the answers are within you, my beautiful Pisces. Uh, we've got the one who flies. Now, you're very bold. Uh, you know, it says here, dare, do, reach. You're the sort of person, uh, it's feel the fear and do it anyway, okay? Um, it's really wonderful. In the water, they're just showing me a flag flying, and on the flag, it actually just has the word Pisces. And the flag is flying. So either some of you are like, I mean, flying your flag. It's not a flag of surrender. I mean, surrender does not mean to give up. It means to trust that the universe has your back. But, I mean, it's almost like you're claiming your stake on something. So maybe you're doing something new or there's a new way of doing something and you're putting your stamp on it, you're claiming it. Uh, the flag, when the flag flies, it normally means to be proud of who you are or to be, you know, proudly display that you are Pisces or 
to be proud of yourself. I just keep getting this energy of be proud of yourself. Um, the one who flies, you're elevating in the world. You're capable of great change, but also capable of doing something really outstanding. You're very, very sensitive. Um, I actually, I feel like you show others the way as well. You're someone who can help solve problems for other people. You may actually work well in a team um, where you help others see their destiny or spiritually help them align with who they truly are. You will reach great heights in this lifetime, okay? They're also showing me there's something about your eyes and your lips. So they're really honing on, in on the eyes and the lips. So I feel like I mean, the lips, you know, they form words, you know, so your voice is very important, but eyes and lips, maybe people talk about your eyes and lips or um, eyes and lips. Maybe it's you see things and you keep secrets, your keeper of secrets. You don't tell other people secrets because uh, I feel people trust you. You are someone to be trusted. You're someone who um, people confide in. They know that their secrets are safe with you. Um, as we move on, I mean, this is an outcome energy. Knight of Pentacles, if you're waiting for financial news, there is some really good financial news headed your way. But this is also a card that you're a very hard worker. You're very determined to succeed. You never give up and you are reliable. You're someone who people trust to, they take you at your word and your word is your bond. So I really feel like you're, are, you're you lead with integrity, you're a trustworthy you, you're someone that people can come to if they need anything. Be a little bit mindful of um, I just get be a little bit mindful of overextending your love and your care and your energy and everything like that. Um, just leave a little bit of time for you, I would say. Um, just to, to recharge your energy, recharge your batteries. Uh, but the Knight of Pentacles, if you're waiting for a job opportunity or you're waiting for financial news or a raise or something like that, there is one coming on in. But I feel like some of you are setting up your own business and doing something new for the first time or you're entering into some sort of partnership with people where it there is some sort of business idea floating around and you may have been a little bit worried about it and it's been at a stalemate for a while. But it's going to move forward. It's going to be a slow moving process, but it will be very successful, very abundant, and it actually brings you a lot of happiness. And I feel like you're reshuffling your time. I feel like you're being a little bit more careful with your time, trying to reschedule so that you've got more time for you and your family and your friends. Okay, uh, we've got the sun card here. So a lot of success, a lot of abundance. You actually bring a lot of joy. You are a joy bringer. You bring a lot of joy to other people. Okay, and you, you're you someone who uh, is very mature. You've known from a very early age that happiness comes from within. And I feel there is a time of playfulness headed your way. You are actually naturally a playful spirit, a very soul searching person as well. You're, you're your, lo your soul longs for, okay, I'm not really sure what they're trying to give me here, but they've just given me your song, let me start again, your soul longs for the music of life, your soul longs for the music of life, okay, I don't really know what that means, so either um, you're a poet and you've written something like that, your soul longs for the music of life, Music of life, okay. Um, okay, now they give me a song, okay. Uh, the rhythm of life is a powerful beat. You can feel it in your fingers. You can feel it in your feet. Something on the inside, something. What? I, I... Oh, the rhythm of life is a powerful beat. Now this is a very, very... I mean, I've heard this song before. I, it's called The Rhythm of Life for sure, uh, but I can't tell you who sings it or what it's. I feel like you try to be upbeat, even though sometimes you're hurting. I just get this energy of you extending your love, your energy and care to everybody, even sometimes at detriment to yourself, even when you're hurting, even when you're feeling down, you always try to make an effort for other people. It's okay to say, you know what? I'm having a bad day today. I'm feeling a bit low vibe today. It's okay to say that because people, you know, you don't always have to be there for everybody or always have to be on, which, 
but people naturally gravitate towards you for your light. So I, they really appreciate you. They give me, they really appreciate you. The people in your life really appreciate all that you do for them, but you may not feel that way sometimes, okay? Because I feel like you've got a lot of responsibilities on your shoulders at the moment, or you felt very responsible for a lot of things or a lot of people or a situation, but there's a lot more freedom in the next four to five weeks. Some of you may be planning a vacation or some of you may be actually thinking about one, but I feel like you're going to get a nice little break there. Uh, also a lucky break is what they're showing me. Now they're also showing me a porcupine in the water. So either a porcupine is uh, relevant to you in your situation. Some of you may be looking at a painting or a picture that has a porcupine in it, or uh, you come across a porcupine. I mean, it could be the name of a place as well. Um, but porcupines, um, porcupines actually, spiritually, they are very protective creatures. Uh, they actually are very gentle creatures um, that actually come in peace. They don't actually want to extend their quills or their spines unless they feel they're threatened. So um, also, did you know, wow, I did not know this, but anyway, uh, also, did you know they're giving me, uh, it's almost like I'm getting like um, true facts on porcupines right now. Um, the quills are hollow, so it means that they can float in turbulent water. So it, they're indicating that you can, I feel spiritually it's about finding um, sanctuary in turbulent times because a, a porcupine is very, very protective in its nature. It protects itself um, and it doesn't really want to use anger or confrontation to do it. It would rather just ward off any negativity with its spines um, before it even gets to the stage of extending the spines. Um, very gentle creatures, they're showing me, very gentle. So perhaps some of you feel like your por porcupine is a, a totem animal for you, but I feel like you've been protecting yourself. I feel like you've been getting yourself in a position of protection, protecting yourself in either your work or your finances and you've been feeling a little bit nervous. I mean, this could be because of world circumstances right now. You've been feeling uh, things are shifting. I mean, they've been shifting since uh, 2020, of course. Um, so you may be feeling like you're getting yourself into a stable position. Uh, I feel like there's a lot of success here for you, a lot of movement forward. Some of you are moving. Uh, the Four of Cups here indicates boredom or feeling a little bit frustrated or a little bit um, your heart has not been engaged or your heart has felt like something is missing. It just feels like something is missing. So perhaps what that's what that music of life song is about. Uh, perhaps you felt like you haven't been in the flow recently or the rhythm of life, but you're going to be. Next four to five weeks, there's some really good news headed your way, really good opportunity. The Four of Cups means just when you're feeling fed up or low vibe, the universe comes on in with an opportunity. So if you're looking for love, for example, I feel like you could be meeting somebody who is a little bit, little bit younger than you, perhaps, or a little bit less mature than you, but it doesn't mean that they're not serious about a relationship. I feel like they are. Um, I feel like you will meet this person either traveling or this person is from a different part of the world than you. Um, if you're not looking for love, I feel like it could be an, a creative opportunity headed your way or a dream opportunity, something that you've been wishing for. That thing that you've been feeling has been missing is showing up for you, okay? Uh, so if you've been feeling that fun is missing from your life or your routine or your day-to-day -day right now, there's going to be more fun. There's going to be more enjoyment. I see people coming together, enjoying themselves, having um, a little bit more laughter. But this indicates that the universe is popping on in to give you an opportunity, something that is emotionally rewarding, but also financially rewarding. The sun indicates success, opportunity, things blossoming for you. Um, they're showing me what that you light up the room. You don't even realize. People notice when you walk into a room, you actually light up the room. Let yourself shine, my beautiful Pisces. I feel with this card, these cards here, uh, as your protagonist energy, you may have felt a little bit more serious than usual, and you may be wondering where that fun side of you has gone. It's dormant. It hasn't gone away. It will be reawakened. I feel like it's been, like, collectively, there's been a mass trauma for the last couple of years, and we've all got really serious. We've all tried really hard to find that fun and get back to some sort of normality and things like that. So I feel... There may be hesitancy, but I feel like it will return for you, okay? It absolutely is. If you've been feeling a bit more uh, serious 
than usual. Um, I feel there's a lot more fun and energy to come your way, okay? So you, if you've been feeling like you've been stuck in a, a rut or in a bit of a funk, uh, things are changing. There's a lot more happiness. Uh, we've got the chariot card, success, victory, movement forward, but you're the sort of person who can find um, a solution to any problem and you can move forward. You're actually quite sponta spontaneous and you may have felt like you've missed that spontaneity about yourself. Um, the chariot card indicates overcoming any obstacles, moving forward, action, change, and you being in charge of your destiny. But also there is a certain element of destiny guiding you as well because the chariot does not have any reins, as you can see. So it's guided by the sphinxes, but it's also guided by this person's mind. Um, as you can see, the star is just on top of the crown chakra, just above the uh, third eye. So this is about your deep knowing. Wherever you're headed, you are charging forward for success, victory. Um, if you're retired, for example, you may be using your money wisely to connect um, to things that you really enjoy, things that bring a little bit more creativity. Um, you may feel that you're protecting your finances in order to use them wisely. And you may be connecting with new people um, in order to... Um, have a little bit more fun. This may be, you may be trying to incorporate a little bit more travel as well into your day to day. But I definitely feel that you're moving forward. You're moving away from any issue or problem. You're seeing things clearly. And I feel like there's a lot of success, joy, and abundance headed your way. You are going to elevate. You're, you're going to spread your wings and be back in the flow of things again, is what they're showing me. Uh, thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Guardian Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Pisces? What do they need to know? Um, we've got Ladybug, good luck. Uh, they actually said in some, okay, I just, my guides are saying in some cultures, uh, a porcupine is also considered good luck. So uh, I'll look that up just to make sure that's true, uh, but that's what they're giving me. Uh, we've got Ladybug, good, Ladybug, good luck. And it says here, you are a bright energy. Let worry go and be happy here and now. Feel good about a loving and colorful you. You bless the world with color and good luck, okay? Now, deep at the root of you, sometimes you are a bit of a worry wart, but I feel like you're becoming a little bit more grounded. I feel like you're actually releasing that worry, that anxiety. You know the things that are important to worry about and the things that are not. And I feel like you're starting to use your energy in a more um, healthier way, let's put it that way. Um, I'm just going to get some final cards for you. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Grand Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Pisces? What do they need to know regarding any messages? What are they meant to see for their highest good? Can you please guide them? Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I'm truly grateful. Okay. First card we he have here is our... Wow, this is really important. Our first teacher is our own heart. Okay, so if you've been feeling a little bit disconnected from the heart space, um, I feel like you're reconnecting. Uh, you're following your heart rather than, you know, you know what, hap you know happiness comes from within. So I feel your heart is totally engaged and it will lead you to where you want to go. We've also got in a trance. And it says, lost in a trance of emotions. Feelings that you'll never forget. Profound feelings, mind-blowing experience, okay? So a lot of you are connecting to meditation, spirituality, um, and your deep knowingness will actually give you experiences that you'll never forget. Um, I mean, either you're going to find a porcupine, like, um, quill, or you're going to find 3D glasses as you're walking along the sidewalk or something like that, or you're going to see a billboard that's got a porcupine or 3D glasses. I mean, it would be really cool if there was an image of porcupine wearing 3D glasses. Um, they're actually showing me someone's shutter on a window shutting now. So either that's you, you've got your a shutter open or something like that, and the shutter is closing. Um, that's not going to resonate for everyone spiritually. Um, it could be that you are quite a private person um, and that, you know, you don't let everybody in. You're very discerning about the company that you keep, especially because you're so sensitive. And maybe that's what the porcupine energy is also about, that protective energy, okay? We've also got walk the path. And it says here, you have to do what is right for you. No one walks in your shoes. 
comparing life social pressures. You're the sort of person, you have a lot of wisdom, you're, you've got a beautiful mind. Sometimes, of course, there's a little bit of worry, a little bit of sensitivity, but that's okay. We're meant to experience those emotions, otherwise we would not be given them as human beings. So you're walking the path, you're walking your own path, and you're, you march to the beat of your own drum. No one can walk in your shoes and make decisions for you because they're not living your life, okay? So I feel like this is about owning your path, and I think I've already said walking your talk. You're the sort of person you do what you say you're going to do people rely on you and they know that they can rely on you and trust in you as well we've also got rushing in this is a really wonderful one because I feel like it is rushing in with that uh, the chariot card we've got an opportunity rushing in that's going to be making you very very happy we've also got the Sun card there as well it says rushing in you're manifesting something or someone into existence rather quickly Fast action, taking off quickly, rushing in. The next four to five weeks, there is an opportunity that you're going to be really happy about or good news that you're going to be really happy about. It is actually a stroke of luck. They just said a stroke of luck. Something that you've been focusing on, something that's been your target, it's coming for you and it will be yours. Uh, we've also got frozen in time. So something's been a bit stuck in a rut or stalemate. It's, oh, maybe that's what the shutter is about. Close the door on the past. Don't let it have any of your energy. Can't move on. Attachment, no change. So if there's a sequence or a situation in your life that is just not changing and it's making you feel uh, depleted of energy or it's making you feel like you're completely at a standstill or a stalemate, uh, then it's time to change your life or it's time to make a change or close the door to the past. It looked like a shutter of a window that was closing, but perhaps it's actually a door. Um, I think it's a, a shutter of a window though, but anyway, I'll move on from that. Um, now we've got, you can't wake a person who is pretending to be asleep. Now, ain't that the truth, okay? You cannot wake a person who is pretending to be asleep, okay? Very important message that. Uh, but I see a lot of good things coming for you and a really positive energy. I'm just gonna get you some trinkets before we close, okay? Oh my gosh, I can't see, I actually literally, even if I looked in, I can't see the trinkets because there's such a small hole, putting my finger in there, I literally cannot see what I'm picking up. Um, so I, I love this even more, and it's not as noisy. But look what we got. We got musical notes. So there's something here about the rhythm of life or the music of life, whatever it is about, it must be rel relevant to you. But it's about raising your vibrations, tuning into the vibrations, the undercurrent, but also you are raising your vibrations and you're elevating, okay? Uh, also there's three notes and three pentacles. So three might be important to you. Maybe there's you and two other people, or you're going to be working in, um, there's going to be some opportunity that requires teamwork, or maybe you're a musician and you're going to gain a lot of success. Uh, the, the sun card is about success being seen, okay? So uh, they actually want me to put it on the chariot card. We've also got the little bear paw print. So this is about making your mark, okay? So whatever it is you're doing, you will be making your mark, but this is also a step in the right direction. Uh, they want me to put it on walk the path. You have to do what is right for you. No one walks in your shoes. And we've of course got the butterfly, transformation change. So if you're trying to activate some sort of new opportunity or new path in your life, spread those wings, my beautiful Pisces, you are about to fly, okay? Uh, they want me to put that on the sun card. Now, I hope something resonates in this reading for you. If it does, please like and subscribe to my channel. Completely free for you. All you have to do is press a little bell. That lets you know when I update my next message. It lets me know that you resonate with the reading, which is very important for me too. And again, I apologize for the length of time it has taken for me to get the videos out, but I was very, very unwell there. So uh, I'm glad I'm nearly back to best uh, and I will be back in my usual space next week, okay? And the readings will be back to normal. Thank you so much, my beautiful Pisces. Love and light.